hope everyone is doing really well and as always thank you so much for clicking on the video as the title says I'm talking about the lemonade diet or the master cleanse a lot of celebrities have tried this diet out as a way to lose weight fast it's a liquid only diet consisting of three different beverages the famous lemonade style drink a salt water drink and a laxative tea it's recommended more as a cleanse than as a diet um, and it's only supposed to last about 10 days but we all know people are going to not listen to that and they're going to take it to a longer term, a longer time length and they're going to take an already unhealthy diet and take it to an even more unhealthy extreme level. So there are two drinks that you have to mix. The first one is the salt water drink, which is about 32 ounces of warm water with about two teaspoons of natural sea salt. The second recipe is the lemonade drink, and it is far from lemonade because lemonade is sweet and delicious and should be pink, but that's just my opinion. Uh, but the lemonade drink is 10 ounces of warm water, two tablespoons of maple syrup, two tablespoons lemon juice, and a pinch of cayenne pepper. So for days one through 10, first thing in the morning, you're supposed to drink a quart of the salt water drink. And during my research, it recommended to stay close to a bathroom uh, when you drink that. So you can just imagine why. And then throughout the day, it recommends six to 12 glasses of the lemonade drink. And then in the evening, you're to drink the laxative tea and that's really just gonna flush everything out. So once all 10 days are done, there are standard rules for the next four days following the 10 day cleanse. So day one, after you're done with the cleanse, you're to drink several eight ounce glasses of orange juice. Day two, in the morning and afternoon, drink orange juice. For dinner, have homemade vegetable soup, but you're not supposed to actually eat any of the vegetables, just the broth. Day three, in the morning, drink orange juice. For lunch, have the leftover soup, and you're allowed four rye crackers. How exciting is that? You get almost real food. And then for dinner, you must eat fresh raw vegetables, salad, and fruit. And then day four and onwards, you are allowed to return to your normal diet, but always having a glass of the lemonade drink in the morning for breakfast. So what are the side effects of this obviously delightful, highly recommended diet? Here is a direct quote. You may experience dizziness, vomiting, joint pain, and weakness. You will also be really hungry. Well, no shit, Sherlock, you're not eating, so of course you're going to be hungry. It's like, hello, Captain Obvious, thanks so much for the update. While exercise is not recommended while on the cleanse, if anyone out there has half a brain, you're going to realize that anyone desperate to lose weight that fast and they're willing to put their body through this hell, they're not going to listen. They're going to exercise. And they're not just going to exercise. They're going to do exercise that is super intense. And that kind of exercising on such a basically no calorie diet is going to lead to, oh, I don't know, dizziness, vomiting, your body in pain, weakness. Oh yeah. And you're probably going to be hungry. So all sarcasm aside, here are my final thoughts on the lemonade diet. Not only is it low calorie, it's low everything else. You're lacking carbs, you're lacking protein, you're lacking essential fats, you're lacking fiber, vitamins, minerals, you're basically lacking nutrients. You're lacking all the proper things your body needs to function and keep you living. I honestly feel sorry for people who see this as a solution because this isn't a solution. This is a temporary solution which is just going to lead to long-term complications and any weight that you do lose on extreme diets like this, you're going to gain back and more ch and the chances are you're not just going to gain back the weight you lost, you're going to gain back even more on top of that. 
at the end of the day, this is not a wise idea. It is not a real solution. You're just kind of masking the problem. And any diet that recommends any form of a laxative, any form, whether it's tea, pills, water pills, anything like that, any form of a laxative absolutely should be avoided. Absolutely. I could go on about how much I hate laxatives. I try not to hate anything or anyone, but if there's one thing I absolutely hate, it is laxatives. I won't get into it right now. At another date, I will go on about that for a while. At the end of the day, essentially, this diet will cleanse you. It will clean you out, but it will leave you hungry, tired, and terribly unhealthy. And that is not a solution, as I said before. I might come across angry towards this diet or people who do this diet. That's not my intention. My intention is to present what people think are a good idea and basically poke holes in that theory and show that it's not healthy. If you want to get healthy, do your research. Like I always say, know what you're putting in your body and why you're putting it in your body. Learn about, you know, how your body runs, how the human body runs, and go from there. And so needless to say, if you haven't guessed it, I wouldn't recommend the lemonade or the master cleanse, whatever you want to call it. I wouldn't recommend it to anybody. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Have a wonderful day, afternoon, night, whatever time of day it is where you're at, and I'll see you next time. Bye.